Hey crafty cuties! Today we are going to do a scrapbook process video just like I promised you guys in my last scrapbook share and today I'm using some photos that are about a year old and this was a night when we spent the night in a teepee at a place called Kanita. Um, it was a really fun little getaway. It was for Father's Day and I have loved these photos. Kanita is such a beautiful place and I am really, really behind on my photo documenting. I've mentioned before that I used to make photo books every few months and I kind of quit that when I started my craft channel. So scrapbooking is kind of how I'm taking over. So um, as you saw, I went ahead and adhered that photo onto a cardstock mat and then I am going to take some of my distress inks and go ahead and distress the edges. It just kind of gives the picture a little bit more dimension and I really like how it looks. And it is a little hard to see on camera but it does make a big difference when you see it in person and it's just a really quick easy little touch. So I'm using two photos on this layout because I had a hard time deciding which one to use. And my son looked so cute in the little one where he has his hands up on his head. And then the other photo is where you can see his back and he's kind of looking out into the mountain view. And I just love that view. It was such a pretty place. Now minus the fact that I woke up with an earwig down my shirt, it was a fun trip. So you can see here I am just kind of arranging and going back and forth between different pieces that I wanted to add into this layout. I had a bunch pulled out ahead of time and that made this go super quick. I think I only spent about 20 minutes total on this layout. So it definitely helps to have a bunch of pieces out that you think will go with your photos, or at least it does for me. And I had that cute little wooden teepee that I, I, I had got that almost a year ago, probably a little uh, bit after our trip. And I knew that I wanted to save that for some type of layout. So I'm just going to play around and go back and forth and kind of decide what I want where before I glue it down. So I started to use some foam tape and I realized that I actually have this kids fun foam that obviously pops the photo up just the same and it's so much less expensive so I definitely recommend using fun foam. You can get it in the kids section at Michael's. If you use a coupon, it's about $5 for a pack of 50. And that's also what I use when I make shaker cards, unless it has a really small framed area. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to put that photo down. And then for the second photo, I have to use a piece of the, fun, of the um, foam tape so that I can pop one side up so that it's not like a little hill little slope action. If you guys are into scrapbooking, let me know what your process is as far as printing your photos. Do you get them printed when you know that you have a layout in mind? Or do you just print out all of the pictures that you know you will probably want to use? Because I have a little container full of photos and I basically have like 500 layouts that I need to catch up on and I feel like I can see myself kind of getting overwhelmed with all of the pictures so I'm trying to figure out a better system. Here I'm just using some watercolors to splatter some paints over the uh, paper. I'm not too concerned if it gets on the photos, but I'm not intentionally trying to get the paint on them. Can you 
you tell me Cause I feel high above the ground Cause I don't even know where I'm going anymore from the and Again, this is one of those things that you can't really see on camera But you can see in person And I loved how it looks So here's a better close-up where you can see that I wanted to share a few photos with you guys from you guys who send in some of your inspiration photos and I hope that you guys enjoy seeing these. It's a lot of fun to have you share those with me and I love it so much. So keep sending those to me. You can follow me on Instagram and if you post a photo you can tag me or you can use the hashtag inspired by I'm a cool mom. However you want, just get it to me somehow. All of my links are posted below for you guys. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!